In the first two games, here's what Jason Tatum has done. He scored 15 in the first game. He was pretty good. Eight points tonight, averaging five rebounds, and he shot just four of 12 tonight. Oy, oy, oy. All right, Michael. I, uh, I'll tell you the truth. I did not care about USA Olympic basketball stuff just yet. They lost right. to Nigeria the other night, and that was embarrassing, and that was weird, but I figured – Excuses aside, you could just kind of say, well, we're getting our feet wet. We're coming off a long season. We're figuring it out. First time playing with each other, blah, 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 blah. But, Michael. But losing you, Australia. When you lose a game like that, the yeah. only thing you have to do is just make sure you win the next one. Exhibition game. You're playing Australia. No problem. You're probably trying in this one tonight where maybe you could act like you weren't trying on yeah. Saturday. Michael, they tried tonight, and yeah. they lost to Australia. Lost to Australia. It's, it's remarkable. Now, this is a bad look for USA basketball just because of the stat that you just read there, DJ. They, they've never lost two exhibition games in a row. They've dominated, uh, they've dominated the world stage for as long as, really, seriously, as long as I've been alive. I mean, you think about all the uh, Olympic losses, like real Olympic losses, uh, in in, Olymp in uh, USA basketball history, you know, they got jobbed in 1972. John Thompson screwed up the team in 1988. And then in, in 2004, they, they had a breakdown. But for the most part, USA, this is just a game where, uh, or, or an arena where they show up, excuse the pun, arena where they show up and just kind of dominate. And it's not like that anymore. It's not going to be like that anymore. So this team, so both things can be true. I just want to say that. Both things can be true. On one hand, yes, the world is improving. This is the best basketball of our lifetimes because the world has, has caught up. But the team is also disappointing. Yes. Right? Yes. I mean, they still – if Greg Popovich is your, is your coach, and you yeah. can argue how much coaching really matters, but I think we all agree you want to start by having Pop as your coach. And – I don't know, maybe it's that I always hate when people make it an intangible thing when they're like, oh, these guys just don't have what it takes. And again, I know that these are exhibition games, but I'm like, how is Kevin Durant and Damian Lillard and Jason Tatum? I know that he didn't start tonight. Still. And bro, like this group in such a hey. talent in, in a sport where talent is the most important thing, the most gifted players in the world. Right. Are losing to like no offense to Australia and Nigeria. No, 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 no. So let's offend them. them. No, let's offend them. No, no. Okay. Offense. If you're offended, you should be. Look, you got Patty Mills. Patty Mills, who was uh, who was a nice player, who was a nice rotation player on a championship team about eight years ago, but still, Patty Mills, Jason Tatum, Patty Mills, Brad Beal, Patty Mills, Kevin Durant. It's a. It's no comparison. So yeah, something is something is not right, and I think. I want to go back to just the attitude of it. Uh, maybe maybe we've, we've outgrown this notion that a team can play in the NBA postseason, take a little bit of break, take a little bit of a break, and then jump right back in and win a gold medal. <laughs> you could do that 10 years ago because the world hadn't caught up to you. But the world is... The world is pushing you. The world is pushing you now. So you got to be a little more mindful of, of your approach. And you got to have a system too, DJ. It's not like, hey, you can just roll out Kevin Durant, Jason Tatum, Bradley Beal, and, 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 and magic is going to happen. I don't think we're there anymore. How are you liking the Bradley Beal, Jason Tatum experience? This was, I don't know if you heard, Michael, this was yeah. years in the making. I've never they heard hadn't this. played together before. We all wanted to see what it would look like when these future Celtics teammates played together. How are you liking it so far? It's a uh, disaster. I don't like it. I don't like it. But I do like this. I'm going to tell you what I do like. Seriously. Um, even though Jason Tatum is on the bench, uh, he's on the bench tonight, I like that Tatum is here in the offseason being humbled now with these losses, uh, being humbled with the trip to the bench, and being coached, maybe not being coached that well, <laughs> by Greg Popovich and his coach coming, uh, his coach, Ime Doka, is an assistant. I, I would much rather have this experience than Tatum or, or any other player going off on his own with his own trainer, uh, doing things that may not necessarily uh, work into the team system. So right now, Tatum is getting some useful, I think, instruction uh, from his coach, and that's going to carry over into the regular season.